Question, how do you stop worrying? Seneca, the ancient Stoic philosopher said, we suffer more in our imagination than in reality. We know that optimists, they are happier, healthier, and wealthier than people that are pessimists. So how do we stop worrying? How do we stop being pessimistic? I wanna share a really powerful study with you from Cornell University. The researchers asked people to track down their thoughts over an extended period of time. And they basically asked them to list out all the things that they thought that could go wrong. And so these things could have a positive outcome, a neutral outcome, or a negative outcome. Then they asked them, of these things that you listed, all these things that you wrote out that could possibly go wrong over this period of time of you tracking your thoughts, how many of those things that you thought that could go wrong actually went wrong? So how many of the things went wrong? What percent do you think the answer came out to? 5%, 10%, 15%, maybe 100%? The researchers found that of the things that were tracked by these individuals, 85% of the things that they thought that could go wrong never happened. 85% of the percentage that did happen, 15%, it was never as bad as they thought it would be. In fact, 79% of the people in the research study said that they handled the situation in the 15% of the time that it did go wrong, they handled it a lot better than they thought that they would. So, but in 85% of the cases, the outcome was neutral or positive. That means better, much better than what they expected it to be. What does that mean for you and I? Stop worrying so much and actually start to realize that your mind may be over amplifying the signal of what you need to worry about. That doesn't mean that you don't take, th take things seriously. That doesn't mean that you don't actually take action. That doesn't mean that. What it means is don't let the worry, don't let the stress cripple you and stop you from taking on what you want to take on. And don't let it make you worried without reason about what's going on in your life. And once you recognize, hey, you don't have to worry that much, then you can start making those progressive moves towards optimism by advocating for yourself. So I hope this helps you. Look, 85% of the time, you may be worrying a lot more than you actually need to. And in the 15% of the time, it's not that bad. So I hope this empowers you. So take this information, apply it to your life, and go out there and make the world a better place. Best of luck to you.